Welcome back to the Ultimate Pool Champions League. Stevie Dempsey back in the house and the hammer looking to secure passage through to the next stage of the Champions League. Not for the first time. He's up against Josh Juhas, who has just hit break of the night with an absolute belter. <coughs> break of the night in the big match of the night. Match number four, always the most important. And what an opportunity this is here. Straight away. Might be slightly off angle with the first ball here, but he can connect it. The one on the furthest on the left-hand side is the only one that's going to be tricky to land on. The angle he has now on the one by the eight ball takes him to the right-hand side, so he's probably going to play on the one below the two reds. But at some point, he's got to find a really good positional shot. Quite simply, just a wide. Missed that by a long, long way. Yeah, there's no sugar coating <laughs> that one, is there? And the reason he's not got good position is that he's missed it by so far on the thin side. He was just trying to float that down and leave the one below the two reds. Now, the damage is done that he's missed the pot, but he does have those two reds in the triangle areas as sort of saving grace. But has Stevie solved it? Yeah, it's, I think it was only half a pocket, but when it's amazing how often that when that yellow that's in his eye line on that shot, it just seems to play bigger than it ordinarily should, as if it... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If that's the case, though, play, he could try and do more off the opening pot. He had a, a chance to actually maybe swing it around three cushions or come on and off the cushion and leave the gap. He just he, he played on the ball he was on and, and was on it with a good angle, but... Well, Stevie's first ball nudged these two open just enough. I wondered whether one of them would go to bottom left. It obviously doesn't because he's come down for ball into right centre. He's actually played a lovely shot there. Needs to keep on playing them though because this isn't an easy finish. And that is pretty good. He'll be a little annoyed the the angle he's left here. It just caught the yellow a touch thin so the cue ball's come too far. You know, he can go up the table. If he goes up the table, though, he's going to leave an angle on the red to bottom right where the cue ball's going into the yellows, which isn't ideal. But if he takes the, the red to left centre, he can't really get on the other red at the top of the table. So Yeah, it feels very difficult, doesn't it? Both way rounds are awkward. He is going to go for the centre, so he's really going to have to nip this, try and get it coming down middle of the bottom cushion and back out. Great shot. Hit that so well. That's an excellent shot. Probably the best shot he's played tonight so far, the way he hit that. It's all about touch. All about touch and feel. And he's played that perfectly. He needs to play that at the right pace as well. The harder you play that, and the less likely you are to make it. Yeah, agreed. It was an excellent bit of cueing. And that is a very high quality out from Stevie Dempsey. If Josh Juaz gets anything out of this match, then there's nothing Ronan can do if Josh wins his final game. Well, the Hammers made a ball. Awkward layout. In and amongst the three yellows by the eight ball, then you can pick those apart quite nice and easily. So, oh, that's a brilliant first positional shot. That really is. I mean, it's ball in hand perfect. He can now pick the angle he wants on the yellow to the centre pocket after getting the one on the cushion out the way. And then just drift down and find the, find the spot he wants. But if you can get in the middle of those three in a triangle, you may well be able to make it look quite a simple finish when it really isn't.
is one of those finishes where the, play, the best players almost show off. These can go wrong so, so easily. But for the very best players, they don't. That's because they have that brilliant cue ball control. Yeah, I mean, the first shot he played was fabulous to land ball in hand perfect. And then what you're seeing here is, is a player not have to play a difficult shot since. But the touch is great to land exactly where he wants to and, and make it easy. Same again. Just bump it out of the way. Hold the cue ball. Really is one of those finishes that on another day, on another player, you could get two shots into it and go, I don't know how I'm going to clear these up. But Stevie's first shot was so good. Absolutely pinpoint. And thereafter, he's made it look simple. Just brilliant from Stevie Dempsey. Oh, completely miss hit the break this time. Wouldn't you know he makes a ball? <laughs> Had some dancing shoes on this one. Really tried to hammer it and give it everything. And lost the cue ball because of it. He does that quite a lot, does Josh too, has he? He loves getting the old uh, the flamingo out. It's like watching Kevin Peterson trying to hit to mid wicket, <laughs> that. Yeah, a bit of body and everything into it. A big visit then for him now that he's made a ball. He's got to find a nice controlled cannon now on the red and then try and find a way out on these yellows. The yellow's sitting right on the knuckle, might even be touching the cushion. I think if the red wasn't there, you probably still could drop it in. But he's going to have to just nip this one and get back into the red. Cushion first would be nice if the yellow goes. Like that. Cue ball still spinning, by the way. Yeah. It stopped now. Now, does the other yellow go into the right centre pocket? And if so, do you take it now? Don't know if it does. It's a bit of a cutback, but you'll be going straight into the red. And then you could have this yellow, assuming it does drop in the centre comfortably enough. Yeah, this is. This looks tricky. No, he was okay. He was okay. The problem is he's leaving the other yellow in an awkward place. That's why I was saying if you could get it out the way from where he was, and I, I think he had about half a pocket. I don't know if he had the full pocket. Get it out the way, then then play the shot he's just played, and and then it'd be where he is now without that yellow in play, but. I thought he was on the right-hand one. He's not. He's only on the one at the top of the table. The right-hand one is better for positional play. Oh, he couldn't have. He couldn't have picked it up with his hand and, and played it better. Yeah, so it's a nice kiss, that wasn't it? It is. Yeah. I mean, it's not what he played, obviously, but he's landed on this yellow to left centre. He can screw into the red and, and play on the yellow at the top right now. That, that was that was a nice bit of form for him. of her nudges there as well easily could have snookered himself when he hit that red it's not an easy eight ball because he's got the positional side of the shot wrong but at least he can see the eight ball makes the eight ball all the same just has to try and find another break clearance off his break it's better control no ball's going to drop for him, though. This match has turned. Mm. It just got very, very interesting. 
Lovely control on that break. But they've almost they've split apart and in a way just come back together. Really awkward layout. Yeah. I don't think in a, in a strange way, yes, Stevie's sat in his chair and he'd love to be at the table right now, as all players would be, but do you think there'll be an element of him saying, nah, you, you go at these, pal? Yeah, the two yellows in the bottom half of the table are horrible. And I don't know how he, he's going to deal with them, in all honesty. Maybe that was an opportunity there. Could he have gone two cushions and got into the two reds and the yellow? Might be able to do it off one of these two at the top. And you get this off two cushions into that red. Not guaranteed to be on anything. No, he's tried to hold for the other yellow at the top of the table. finishes where you know maybe you just almost y you see the level Josh couldn't quite get out Stevie fancies himself to get out it's an easier finish on reds I mean Josh didn't have a red on so they had no choice but to try and take yellows on or or play safe whereas Stevie he's got the opportunity here to well he did have the opportunity it's gone now mm. he's missed the ball Maybe just pinch in the pocket a little bit. Still think it's an easier finish on reds than yellows. Because Josh has got exactly the same problem and I still don't know how he's going to solve it. Fifteen second shot clock now and oh, Josh did have an extension there. He's not had a bad result with that shot, which was a bit sort of wild, but it's not a terrible result at all. No, but you could see the shake of the head, he just had no ideas of how to how to deal with the layout he's got. Stevie's in complete control of this frame now, two one up, and obviously we know he's a master of the, the match situation. is a good result for Josh mm. but it's still you know Stevie that's in control of this frame he, he's under pressure on the next safety shot whereas he may well have hoped when he got the snooker there that he'd be coming to the table with a wide open chance to slowly go through the finish and make it 3-1 and, and leave a minute and a half on the clock Well, the safety shot was awkward, so he's played the pot, and well, he's been very fortunate. Very fortunate indeed. <coughs> well, was that red first? I think it was. We're going to check this out, but I don't think there was much of a gap there. I'm pretty sure he's got the red first here. Yeah, referee Arch has just moved away into the uh, into the VAR booth, and he's going to have a watch of this. Oh, actually, it didn't hit the red. I thought he'd hit actually. Watching on replay, it's a little bit closer than than it looks. Oh, it's a tough one to tell. That's a really tough one to tell. Link it. 
think you can probably say that it's inconclusive. Which, in, in my opinion, then it's a foul because in real time it, it looked a clear foul. It was just a little bit closer on the replay. The only thing that was confusing me there is just the angle the red come off at. It looked like it came off very thin and it may well have, you know, could have been yellow first, but I'm with you. I, I don't think there's anything to suggest that wasn't a foul and therefore the decision's been made. As I always say, I'm very glad I don't get to make those decisions. Yeah, absolutely. It's always my first reaction when I see that, even in slow motion. Truth, it wasn't going to make much difference anyway. But Probably overrun that slightly. May well have been thinking about the red he's nearest to as his last ball. And would have wanted to get rid of the one in the triangle area, then up the table, right centre, left centre to finish, but he's going to get rid of that red now. Just means he's not as guaranteed to get good on the eight ball as he would have hoped. Two minutes left, so you know he's a master at managing the clock, but he has to get out here. He can't run the clock down enough. So it is really important he gets good on the eight ball here. He's played a lovely shot there. Tendency this, on this gives him the option. Yeah, the tendency on this next shot though is to leave it a little bit short because you're sort of tracking the the centre pocket. The natural gets you towards the centre, and you end up leaving it a little bit short. And he's what he's done there isn't he's taken the centre pocket out of play by throwing a little bit of right-hand side on it to make sure he come a little bit further down the table. Makes it a little bit more hampered queuing and a tougher pot, but this is essentially, you feel, for the match. Yeah. Brilliant pot from Stevie Dempsey. Clutch finish from the hammer. Sometimes yeah. he just comes to life under the 15 seconds. He thinks quicker than most. He just has a, a, a sixth cent for what's required in any given stage. You on that last clearance, the, the clock was, wasn't a factor at all. It was about making the clearance, whereas in the first match, it was all about running the clock down. Match awareness, how much time's available, all factors in. Now it's a match over, so he's, he's kind of just going through the motions here. It's not popped out for him, but... 30 odd seconds left here. Oh, he still thought he was going to drop. Well, Josh is going to try and clear up quickly, but Stevie has the next break, so even if he made the miracle, which he hasn't really got time for, shouldn't make a difference. Fun exhibition, though. <laughs> That's a great effort. <laughs> Josh Suarez can't quite get the clock working for him though, but Stevie Dempsey, as always it seems, can do just that. And he goes two for two in the Champions League.